Families in central Ohio and one community are facing the possibility of their junior high school students being in hybrid learning all next year. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Carrie Charles. Now, this is not because of the pandemic. District leadership in Pickerington telling us the number of students is growing, but the number of classrooms remains the same. NBC4's Eric Halperin talked with Pickerington families, some not happy about this proposal. Junior high school in Pickerington might look different next year. Instead of being in person five days a week, the district is considering a hybrid plan. We do have overcrowded schools. However, taking these kids out of school is not really it, it's just not, it doesn't meet the expectation of Pickerington Proud. Courtney Green has a child who will be in eighth grade next year. She also has two other kids who could be affected by the plan if it goes into place. She says her daughter texted her during Monday's school board meeting as the presentation was going on. That broke my heart to get a text from her saying that all of her friends are upset, that they're texting one another. These kids are seventh and eighth grade and, and they know what's going on. They're aware. They understand how this is going to impact them. Green was one of six parents who spoke at Monday's meeting, all against the proposal. It was presented by Chief Administrative Officer and Assistant Superintendent Dr. Heather Hedgepeth, along with the two junior high principals. Dr. Hedgepeth pointing out this hybrid plan would be different than the hybrid during the pandemic. And we brainstorm as much as we can, um, and we just keep going back to we can't make the buildings any better. The principals also talking about behavioral issues at the school is affecting some students' comfort level. The board will not vote on the decision. Since it's instructional, it'll be the administration's call. If we're going to do this, we need to do it right, and we need to provide the support to our families and to our students and make it work. It's not um, a cure-all. It's not the, the best situation for all of our families. We get it, um, but we're just trying to do the best we can with what we have in front of us, and that's our facilities. Dr. Hedgepeth says she would like to have a decision made in the next two weeks. Board members are encouraging the public to send feedback in. District leaders who made the plan are also in the process of getting feedback from teachers. I think that it is important for this community to embrace the reality that their options are not great, but that we are trying to make the best of a not great situation. That's Eric Halperin reporting. Since 2017, there have been three ballot issues for schools in Pickerington. All of them failed. Tonight, the board took a step toward getting another one on the ballot in November.